Now, the Japanese firm Toshiba has abandoned plans to build a nuclear power station in Cumbria. The company had failed to find a buyer for its UK subsidiary, NewGen, which was set up to pursue the project planned near Sellafield. Our consumer affairs correspondent, Coletta Smith, has this update from the site. The site that you can see here behind me is the Toshiba plant. What should have been happening here over the next few years is the building of a brand new generation nuclear plant here in the UK. The Japanese company Toshiba have been having big problems internationally, particularly with their American branch of the company. Because they've made losses there, they've decided to pull out of all international investments outside of Japan in the nuclear sector. So that's put this site under serious jeopardy and that's a concern particularly here in Cumbria where so many jobs are dependent on it. That site should have been the biggest investment by the private sector in Cumbria and it's a particular concern for anyone who's been working at that site just the other side of the road here that's the Sellafield nuclear plant which is being decommissioned at the moment and the idea was that people would have been able to transfer from working in that plant with all the expertise that they've gathered over years and move to the new plant. The fact that that's not going to happen is potentially putting thousands of jobs at risk and, and the future, of course, of the industry here in the UK. Big questions about that. The government say that they are still committed to nuclear as an energy source going forward, but they're sticking to their plan of making international and private sector companies the ones who do the big investments in the physical infrastructure. And that means that we are subject to the headwinds of the global financial sector. So when companies have difficulties elsewhere in the world, we feel the knock-on implications here in the UK. And in Cumbria, they're at the raw end of that today. Coletta Smith there. Let's go to Leeds now and talk to Henry Murison. He's the director of the Northern Powerhouse Partnership. It's good to see you. Thanks for being with us. Um, you, obviously, the building of a huge nuclear power plant in Cumbria, that would have been a major statement of commitment to the idea of the Northern Powerhouse, the whole idea of that entity. Um, do you think this deal not going through now suggests a lack of a commitment on the part of the government? I think the government could have done a lot more to support New Gen and the work of the team there, who've done a fantastic job putting together a good proposal. I think what's disappointing has, has been heard on the report is that this would have generated a lot of jobs in Cumbria, and it would have also supported the strong nuclear sector, which obviously does include Sellafield, it also includes many businesses in the supply chain. So I think what I, we would like to see, I think, from the government is a commitment to not forget about Moorside. It is still an, a site that's designated for a new nuclear build. I think we also need to see a commitment to small modular reactors, which is a technology that we could build across the north, from Sheffield here in Yorkshire, across the Mersey, generating jobs not just in West Cumbria, potentially, but across the north of England. Mm, so the Japanese and Toshiba have pulled out, but the preferred partner for all this was actually Kepco, the Korean company. What do you think the stumbling block is in so, trying to agree a deal for so Kepco did do a deal with Toshiba um, and a commercial deal was arrived at. The problem was that the UK government was unable to resolve the concerns of the Korean government who are the the, the sort of primary owner of Kepco and so that government to government dialogue didn't work very successfully and I think the concern we have is that there has been a RAB which is a, a, an asset model that's working we think for Sizewell C for the, uh, for the French investment in the UK which is welcome but that model should have been thought about and extended and I think the work on it done in more detail by the Treasury earlier to allow that model to also be used for more side. It's very disappointing that North Wales is getting a new nuclear power station mm. funded entirely pretty much by government investment directly whereas an alternative model wasn't prepared in time and delivered the way it was needed to attract the Koreans and their investment. Right, okay. so we've always been talking about private money here for this investment and I think where the government needed to come in was to give certainty and a way in which private money right. could flow in and that's, that hasn't worked okay. unfortunately. Okay, so the point is that as far as Moorside is concerned, the government, you believe, is not giving the kind of guarantees that a foreign investor would want that they're going to make their money back. So it has to be underwritten by the taxpayer, that's what you're saying? It's not about underwriting, it's about giving certainty. So in the end, energy policy is entirely dictated by a government. And every country in the world knows that because they themselves have energy policies. And that's why in the Northern Powerhouse, we need a proper industrial strategy for energy for the North. Because not just in nuclear, but in biomass, for instance, at Drax Power, in offshore wind, we lead the country and Europe in, in renewable energy generation. The problem is we needed nuclear as part of our mix to make sure we could decarbonise our economy, for instance, to embrace electric vehicles. And without Moorside, which was going to produce 
almost a tenth of UK electricity, we're going to have a big question mark about how we're going to make sure that we keep the lights on and keep decarbonising and meeting our climate change obligations. And I think the government's going to have to really get behind small modular reactors in a big way over the coming few months. Right. Otherwise, there is no alternative for matching what the declining nuclear power stations, which I think here in the north we can do a lot to help decommission, are going to be, are going to be replaced by. Okay. Because the moment we do depend on nuclear, and we're still going to need a portion of nuclear as part of our low carbon mix in the coming decades. All right. Okay, we'll leave it there. Henry, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks Henry Neurison there.